For the last year or so, I've been talking to store owners and store builders about the power of reviews. Well, today we're introducing a new plugin that will bring a lot of those best practices to your WooCommerce store. It's called Better Reviews for WooCommerce. And when you take a look at the settings, when you come in here and take a look at attributes, for example, it allows you to define certain product attributes that you want to assign to either some or all of your products. In this particular case, imagine this store is about bags. So you might care about store capacity or strap and handle length. That's simply a way for people who are doing reviews to give you specific data, not just the star rating, but specific feedback about these products. So that when you're going to look at a product, a customer's going to look, they can see, oh, it runs small or large. I don't know if you've ever bought t-shirts or tennis shoes or anything else. Being able to know from customers who have already purchased it, whether or not it runs big or small can be very valuable and very helpful. But the same dynamic also applies to the people writing the reviews. This is author characteristics. Again, if we're talking about luggage, understanding the packing profile or the travel profile, how often do you travel and how do you pack, can be very, very important when you're reading someone's review. After all, not all reviews are equal. If you've gone to Amazon and read reviews about a product, you're left wondering, yeah, but I don't, I don't understand the context of whether this person flies once a year or once a week, right? That's going to be very, very different. So what does this look like when we get to a site? Well, I'll show you. I'm going to come to this leather bag that has a nice image, additional thumbnails that let me look at the details of a product so I can see. There's beautiful text, but we already know People want to read what others have to say about your product more than what you have to say about your product. And then we get down into these reviews. And when we see these reviews, you're going to see all that information, right? Does it feel larger than you might imagine? Does the strap length feel longer than normal or average? Here's the star reviewing and a histogram breakdown of how those reviews play out. But more importantly is as I look at the review, I'm going to get not only whether or not they're a verified purchaser, but their profile as they tell it to me, right? So they, when they wrote this review, told me I'm a person who checks bags or I'm a person who's casual travel profiler. That's going to be very different than someone who uh, is traveling professionally and only does carry on, right? How I read these reviews is going to be different and I can filter those, right? I can say, hey, show me just people who do carry on. Or I can say, show me people who normally check luggage or people who pack super light, right? And how I can filter that allows me to read only the reviews that match my dynamic. Now, on the right side here, when you're talking about leaving a review, that profile information is not required, right? Not like the name and email. So if, if in terms of worrying about GDPR or anything else, if you don't want to leave that data or if your reviewer doesn't, no problem at all. But if they do, it becomes very powerful over here for people to filter on. It's called Better WooCommerce Reviews because we think it'll make your WooCommerce reviews much better.